For most of you, this is your first college level math course, and I should explain that there's, there's quite a bit of difference between a college level course and a college prep course, such as our um, elementary algebra or intermediate algebra. In a college level course, you're no longer totally focused on learning new algebra techniques, having to memorize uh, certain procedures. Um, a lot of what we do in this course is take what you do know and begin to analyze with it. Now this first chapter is, is pretty much a, a crash review of, of your previous algebras and there are some new topics perhaps for some of you in this, in this first chapter. But uh, your emphasis now in, in learning should be uh, somewhat on, on why things work the way they do and, and gaining an understanding of what's going on. Um, because we're going to start throwing so much more stuff at you so fast that it becomes uh, next to impossible to show you everything and, to, uh, and for you to memorize every little nuance. And so it's uh, really to your advantage to, to focus on, um, on why things work and, and try to gain that understanding. And that will, uh, that will pay big dividends for you. So this, uh, this first problem I want to do is, um, is solving a linear equation. And you've all done this before. Uh, this one probably looks a little longer than what you're used to. And uh, what I want to do is concentrate on the, the steps of solving, you know, the solving process. And uh, so I'll go ahead and put that problem up now. Here's our first problem, and I'm in a habit of reading these problems just to make sure it's, it's clear from the video. Um, we're going to solve for x, 3 minus 2 parentheses 4 minus x, close parentheses, equals 4 times bracket 3x minus 5 parentheses x plus 1, close parentheses, close bracket, plus 7. All right, so um, let, let's talk about a few things here. The parentheses symbol is called a grouping symbol. It, it groups things together. And the bracket symbol is also a grouping symbol. And in fact, there is no mathematical difference between the parentheses and the bracket. The, um, the, the purpose for drawing the bracket is so it's a little easier to read. And if we need something larger uh, to enclose even brackets, then we use braces. So the, the hierarchy of grouping symbols works like this. We have brackets, I'm sorry, braces, br brackets, parentheses. And that's the, the standard way of doing it. It's, it's pretty rare to need anything bigger than braces. In fact, it's even rare to, to need braces to begin with for, um, for algebra, but sometimes it shows up. Anyway, but these these all mean the same thing. They're, they're all big parentheses, and they group um, pieces of your problem together. All right, now the probably the best way to work these, the most reliable way, is to is to work from the inside out. But which means I'm going to expand this parentheses. In other words, get rid of the parentheses. And then I'm going to combine terms inside, and I'm going to then get rid of the bracket. Over here, we'll just get rid of the parentheses. So that's what I mean by working from the inside out. Start simplifying from the inside out, and then you don't run into uh, some complicating issues like, you know, dis distributing numbers wrongly throughout a problem. All right, so um, now I mentioned the word distribution, and that's how we remove parentheses. For example, here I've got negative 2 multiplying the parentheses 4 minus x. And uh, in my experience, this is the distribution errors are, are a um, big source of errors in, um, at the beginning of any algebra course, uh, particularly intermediate algebra and even college algebra. People will um, do this wrong. So how does this work? We have minus 2 multiplies the 4, and minus 2 also multiplies the negative x. So this, will, this is going to give us 3 minus 2 times 4, that's minus 8. And then negative 2 times negative x is going to be plus 2x. So what I say is that, um, you know, it's a very common error for people to misdistribute at the beginning of an algebra course before they get their, um, you know, before you get back into real practice again. It's, uh, you know, very often if I... If I put this on a test, I might see uh, 
a minus 2x here, or I might even see a minus x rather than a plus 2x. So that's, that's a very common error. Now, let me, let me just tell you something here at the beginning of this whole video um, stuff we're doing. The, um, when I tell you something is a common error, that means you really need to perk up and pay attention because a common error means that's the kind of errors you're most likely to make. And so pay attention to that. And uh, if you can avoid those errors, then you're going to avoid a lot of errors. And so uh, I never understood why people don't take that more seriously. When I say there's a common error, um, that means you are very vulnerable to making that error yourself. So always pay attention. When someone like me tells you about a common error, it's, that means you can do it too. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, one other thing on the left side here. Notice I did not first subtract 3 minus 2. Do you know why? Why don't I go 3 minus 2 and get 1? It's because of the order of operations in algebra. You know, the order of operations, which is one of the, one of the first things you learn in any algebra course, um, gives, gives us the, the rules by which we combine things in algebra. By which we, um, you know, what order do we multiply? What order do we subtract or, or anything else? Use exponents. And the order of operations, let's just go through it real quick to recap. Order of operations. The first thing is to uh, work inside parentheses. If you can simplify inside parentheses. Now here, I can't simplify 4 minus x. I can't simplify x plus 1. We can simplify inside this bracket, though. And remember, the bracket works like a parentheses. It's no different mathematically from a parentheses. So we are going to, on the right side of the equation, simplify this bracket first. And then the next thing in the order of operations are exponents. And we have no exponents in this problem. So after that, you look at multiplication and division. And then addition and subtraction is, is done last. So these uh, order of operations came into being, oh, probably 100 years ago, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, I've, uh, I've seen an, a, an algebra book from 1870 in which the author lamented the fact that there was no standard way in which to uh, simplify an algebra expression. You know, people were doing it their own, their own way in their own textbooks. And, um, and so somewhere between 1870 and, and today, probably shortly after 1870, I guess uh, there arose a consensus around the world of how we're going to do algebra. We're going to do parentheses first, and then exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So there's the, the order of operations, just as a quick review. And you might have learned it as, uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay, just a little memory thing to, to learn this. Now, um, I put all this up here partly to show you why we did subtract 3 minus 2. Because the order of operations says we should multiply before we subtract. And so I need to multiply the 2 through the parentheses before I subtract from 3. So that's why we did that. Um, over here, I'm going to work inside the bracket, because it's a big parentheses. We'll simplify that. Then we'll multiply the 4 before we add the 7. Because again, multiplication comes before addition or subtraction. Alright, well let's continue on with this problem. And 